Hey guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Pinky Boo West, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the super yummy turkey cheese ball dip that is really good for crackers. So let's get straight into it. So what you're going to need is you're going to need cream cheese and then ranch dip and then whatever cheese you want, but we chose to use Swiss cheddar and Parmesan. And then we also crushed up some chopped pecans. So I just took two sticks of cream cheese and I put that in there. And then I put about half of the packet from the ranch dip in. Then about two handfuls of the Swiss, a little bit of the cheddar, because you don't want to put too much because that'll make it orange. And then about a handful of Parmesan. So once you put in all your ingredients, you're just going to start to mix it up. And I just used a wooden spoon, and this is definitely the hardest part. It's so thick and it can be really difficult to turn. But if you just keep going and eventually use your hands, you'll see it start to form more of a ball. So for the feathers of the turkey, we just took an assortment of vegetables. We used celery, green onions, and carrots. And I just took the leafy part of the celery and used that. And then as far as the green onion goes, I just kind of cut it into sections at the top. So we took the cheese mixture and then we just formed it into what we thought a turkey shape was. Um, we did it from a front angle. We were thinking about doing a side angle, but we thought a front would be a little bit better. So then we just stuck in all the vegetables for the feathers. And then what we did to put a face on it was we took um, two pieces of olives for the eyes. We shredded up a little carrot for its no or its beak. And then for the waddle, we just took a slice of tomato. So then we just took the chopped pecans and then we crushed them so that we could sprinkle them over the turkey to make it brown rather than white. If you're allergic to nuts or something like that, you can just skip this step or you can add a little bit of food dye in when you're making the cheese ball itself. And then last but not least, we just took a pretzel and we broke it so that it would be its little feet. So now you have this really cute and yummy little appetizer for Thanksgiving. And that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below so you don't miss any of my future videos. Click the little bell to get notified as soon as I post a video. Once again, thanks very much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!